You know what we're going to do? Uh, we uh, we uh, work here in this complex of buildings. What do they call it? Radio City is across the street, and this is uh, uh, Rockefeller Plaza, Rockefeller yeah. Center. And Rockefeller Center is comprised of how many, composed of how many structures? 13, 14 big, beautiful limestone buildings. And right across the uh, street on 49th Street, I believe, is the uh, Simon & Schuster building. How can we have a shot of the Simon & Schuster building up there? We have a camera up in our offices. There's uh, the outside of our offices. We're going into the researcher's uh, office right up there. And uh, well, this will give you a shot of the, uh, there. Oh, it's, it's uh, nightfall here in New York City. Well, the kids have cleaned up, haven't they? <laughs> They're home for uh, spring break. Now look at this, see? Now if you can see over there, without directly looking into some of those windows, I think you can tell that people are still working. And it's long past the time they should have been there. So we thought tonight what we would do is try and select one of those people and name them Office Worker of the Month. Now, <laughs> this... Well, thank you very much. Thank you. This, uh, this gets a little confusing here because we can't look right into their office because that's a violation of their uh, office rights or something. Yes. So we have to call over there. Now, I have a, a number. Let's see, do I have it here? Do I have a phone number? Oh, here's the phone number right here, next to the phone. Call a little dialing music. So we'll call, and we'll see if we can't find somebody over there and try and get them to come to the window. Now, when, when they come to the window and wave, then we'll tell them that they're office worker of the month, and we'll send somebody over to get them, and, and we'll bring out Gene and Roger. OK, here we go. Well, Paul, that's beautiful. What is that? I say, Paul, that's beautiful. Here we go. This should be Simon and Schuster. I saw Mr. Uh, Schuster earlier today. He looks great, by the way. Yeah, he's going to work in the building over there. There's our first ring. Now, this should be Simon and Schuster right over there. They're on the 13th floor of the Simon and Schuster building. We'll find out who's working late, and we'll put him on the air here, and then we'll get him to go. See, you can see. Look at the activity of the city. This nightfall, newly here in the. Uh, Okay, that's, nobody seems to be there. And, and uh, my cold's coming back. And, and, uh, okay. Nobody seems to be there. Let's give it one more. Call another number? Oh, yeah. We'll call another number. Don't worry. <laughs> getting, getting help from all over now. If you see Dave's eyes roll back in his head, tell him to call another number. Okay, I'm going to put that on hold because you never know when you might need that number. All right, so the first number is Chuck Scarborough, NBC News. Chuck, by the way, you can go home now. All right. Paul, have I explained this uh, thoroughly, do you think? Well, there's an office building across the That's street. That's right, Simon & Schuster Simon building and Schuster. here. We can't Radio look right in there. No, you can't look in there. We'd, We'd be, be arrested. I'd be arrested. I'd be dragged out of here in cuffs. Like I haven't been several times already. So you're calling somebody in Hello. the office building. Hi, who is this, please? Uh, uh, my name is Dave Letterman. I do a little nickel and dime TV show across the street here, right across 49th Street in the big building there. What's your name? Hi, Meg. Uh, can I have your permission to put your voice on the air? We're doing a little TV show right now, and we'd like to talk to you if we can. Why it is you're still at, late, uh, still at work this late? Uh, can I put your voice on the air, Meg, and then, then we'll solve some of these problems later? <laughs> you might win a lovely prize. I say you might win a lovely prize. We're looking for the office worker of the month. Look, we have a... We have a beautiful suit of clothing for you, Meg, if you could... See, right there, you can't see it, but it'd be lovely. Now, here's what we need you to do. If you give us permission to put your voice on the air, then, then everything will be fine. Um... Daisy said yes. I don't really know. Oh, you did say yes. I didn't really say yes. Oh, <laughs> well. Thank, thank you very much, Hal. Uh, but if you, did you say yes or not? No, I didn't say okay, yes. Uh, okay, would you, what, what's, uh, what's it going to take to get you to say yes? I guess somehow I have to be convinced that this is really you. It is me. It's me. It's Dave Letterman. I, uh, what, how can I prove to you that I'm Dave? Can you wave out the window because we're right across the street? No, see. Hold it. So, no, so you can't see us because we're inside. What we, what, what we want you to do, what we want you to do is go to the window so we can see you. I'm right here and somebody did wave. <laughs> somebody waved. Well, that could be anybody. There's eight million people in this city. At this moment, several different people in several offices are waving. Yeah, well, that doesn't do us a bit of good, Meg. We need you to go to a window I'm where... 
right at my window at this particular moment. All right, what are you wearing? I'm wearing an Argyle sweater and I have blonde hair. Okay, what floor are you on? Should, should I have to be working this hard? Oh, no. Should it be this damn hard to call across the street? You got I'm it. I'm 42. Do I need this? You're 42? Oh, hello. Hi. Well, I don't think I gave you permission. What, what's in it for me? Oh, there she is. You're doing great. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. She's hello, right Meg, there. how are you? Okay. Hello, Meg, it's me. Me Hi, it's me. Meg. Congratulations, Meg. You're, you're our office worker of the month. I don't care what you say. I didn't say anything. Okay, just now you just stay right there. Biff Henderson from our staff is coming across the street to get you, and we have this lovely prize for you, okay? Um, is she coming up to the 13th floor? Oh, who cares? <laughs> May, maybe he'll be hit by a bus. Then what will happen? You stay... Meg. Yes, I'm still here. Oh, honey, stay right there. I'm staying right here. Okay, all right, all right, we'll get back to you. Okay, there's... Yeah. What? Yes, go! Yeah. I don't know. I think, see, I think it's my fault. I don't think I completely explained it to her. Oh, no, no, you did. And then Hal jumped right in there and lied. <laughs> Hal thought she said yeah, yes. as far as Hal was concerned, she said sure. She but, said yes. Dave. Did she really? Sure, we have a recording of it. Okay. I see. Now, uh, while we're waiting for uh, Biff to retrieve her... Okay, let's do our top ten list tonight. I, I know... The prize suit. That's oh, my God. I'm sorry. That's prize. Forgive me. My face is so red. Yeah. You know, I thought we'd just call over there. She'd say, sure, I'll go to the window and wave. And then all of a sudden, it becomes complicated. Uh, the category tonight, top 10 new Perrier slogans. Here we go. From the uh, home office at Lebanon, Pennsylvania, top 10 Perrier slogans. Number 10. Dangerous toxins, yes. Cholesterol, no. Number 9. <laughs> Number nine, kills bugs dead. Number eight, take the Perrier challenge. Number seven, the favorite chaser of Kitty Dukakis. Number six. <laughs> Friends of the first family of Massachusetts. Number, uh, number six, a wholly owned subsidiary of Exxon. Number five, slightly better than drinking from those puddles in the subway. Number four, it's high octane enjoyment. Number three, the drink that made Milwaukee na a nauseous. Number two, uh, goes perfect with the Chilean grapes. And number one, top 10 Perrier slogan coming soon, our new kerosene flavor. There you go. Everything's okay? Nobody got hurt? No arrests? No litigations? Great. Here, in, in all of the excitement, I forgot to... This is the prize for Office Worker of the Month. This lovely suit of clothing from uh, Bancroft downstairs. Gorgeous. And, and in Meg's case, we'll have this uh, converted to something uh, that she could wear. This is a man's suit. We'll get the female equivalent. And it comes with a lovely handkerchief and, of course, socks. <laughs> what? What is it, Morty? Oh, there's Biff right there. Thank God. The Look at that. <laughs> look, look at how proud they are of themselves. I think look she's given her permission to be on camera. <laughs> we don't know. Uh, but there they are. They couldn't be more pleased with the fact that they can stand at a window and wave. They'll be coming back over and we'll make her the winner. Thanks, Biff. Can you hear me, Biff? Biff can't hear any. Even when, he, when he's in the studio, Biff can't hear me. Uh, <laughs> uh, look at all those folks hanging around. Hey, geez, hey. Kind of like to see where they're going. Are they here? Biff? Biff? Is Biff out there? Come on in, Biff, if you have the woman from across the way. Hi. Nice to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Biff.
Yeah. Meg, thank you for coming over. What now? Your name is Meg Parsant. Meg Parsant. Where are you from, Meg? New York City. Uh huh. And what are you doing for a living over there at Simon and Schuster? I'm in the publicity department of Pocketbooks. I see. Do you enjoy that kind of work? Pocketbooks is those uh, dirty, awful, uh, cheap things with the women in lingerie and guys with guns on the cover. Is that what they do? That's some of what they do. Yeah. Uh, where did you go to school? Um, high school, college. Well, you pick one. Make it easy on yourself. Some eight choices. Stuyvesant yeah. High School, Clark University. Uh, Clark University is located Worcester, Massachusetts. In Worcester, you folks have actually heard of Clark University. That's oh, oh, hard to believe. Don't make me come up there, uh, Meg. As, as office worker of the month, do you normally stay this late when you're over there? Generally, yeah. Really? Do you enjoy your work? Very much. Making a lot of dough? I enjoy my work. Yeah. <laughs> you know, New York City is a very exciting place for people like yourself. You having a good time here? I'm having a great time. Okay. Here, now look at this. See, we didn't know if it was going to be a man or a woman, but you can take this down to Bancroft, and you can get this uh, changed for something that would, would fit you, something, something same, nice. Same style? Yeah, high quality stuff. No, not necessarily <laughs> the same style, but like a dress or a, a suit, a blouse, and you know, okay. something cute like that. There okay. you go. And, and congratulations. Have a great week over there. And I appreciate you being on the show. That's it. Meg Parson, ladies and gentlemen. Go right on out there, Meg. Thank you. It's the office worker of the month. Oh, those are the people across the street, aren't they? Now what are we doing? Now we'll do a commercial, and when we come back, Todd Rundgren will be here. <laughs>